is another Move Progress production with your guy Markeith Price, Tech Cyber Blog, coming to you guys very soon. But today I wanted to show you guys how to make your images and to convert it basically into an SVG file so that you can manipulate your file, manipulate your picture, your, your photo image or whatever it may be into maybe like a 3D format. So I use Blender over here to create to make a 3d image with blender but first in order to do that I, in order to do that i use adobe at the start of my projects and um as i'm using adobe i am using to come up with my creative idea using text design colors words whatever it may be and then i can do all of the work on my computer so i first start off with my phone and then i go into using um the different tools on my computer so let's get into it as you guys may know i'm visually impaired let's get right into it i zoom in and i zoom out for accessibility for those who are watching this that might be visually impaired and those who are not visually impaired you guys get to see how someone in the visual impairment world uh, navigates now i am a, a, an example of one there are so many i'm an example of many i'm one person and i'm pretty sure there are skills and tools that other visually impaired use other visually impaired people use outside of what i'm doing so we're going to take this file right here and we're going to convert it into this app we're going to convert it with this app called inkscape so if you download inkscape you can convert your image into an svg file so we're going to open inkscape and then we're just going to open new documents and i'll zoom in close i kind of already know where things are a lot of the time so even if i can't see them sometimes it's just easier for me um so as you guys see the full screen that we're going to zoom in on this part and i click and then i go over and then i add and zoom out you guys as we zoom out we press okay so because i entered into i made sure to put this in my files and so when you are creating this svg file you are essentially making sure that your colors and everything gets transferred into that uh, SVG file so that you guys can use for uh, a software like 3D Blender, Maya, or some other 3D softwares that are out there. So, all right, we got into this part where I am tech cyber blog. You guys see it. And so now you got to go over here. I'm going to zoom out for you guys. And you click on, you click on multiple scan. And so as you click on multiple scan, what we want, we want color. So we want the color because that's how we want our file. We want to make sure our colors are coordinated. And so we have three colors. We're going to go over, scroll over, tech cyber blog, right? So the colors, we have three colors, black, white, and blue. Now you want them to convert very well. So what we can do is, it's, you know, it's going to scan eight colors, but maybe we don't need eight of those different files within the file. And if you go to my next video with Blender, 3D Blender, you'll see how I convert this into, um, how this conversion makes sense. So if you guys go to the next video, so uh, this will make sense. So we're going to go into, we're going to do five, um, stack, smooth, remove background. We don't necessarily need to remove the background for this part, just simply for that's not how I want um, it. I don't want my image without the black at the moment, but I will probably convert something without the black involved on the background so that I can just have this tech cyber blog. Okay, so now we're gonna go over, we're gonna update, update, and you see tech cyber blog has everything. And then what we can do is we can press apply. So as we apply, I'm gonna zoom out for you guys, you go back over, I'm gonna move it back in the middle. You go back over and looky here. Now you have that, this is your SVG file and you can delete this. Um, but now I did something that um, I probably shouldn't have deleted it. I probably should have kept it to make sure that everything kind of turned out the way that I would hope because sometimes if you don't have like, okay, over here, I know it's close, you guys. Once again, visually impaired. This is so you see this scans. I have five scans. Sometimes those five scans might need to be seven or ten, depending on your how many colors you have and the quality. And the the more detail your image is, the more you probably will have to do scans. So what we're going to do now is we're going to align this in kind of the way that we want it to be aligned on this page. We don't need it to fit the whole page. It's just enough to where it still looks very similar to the other. Uh, the initial one and we're going to try to center it as much as possible it doesn't need to hit all of the edges and so bam this is your file so what we're going to do is we you can go up here and press save as zoom in for all of my visually impaired individuals um save as okay so all of that's here save as um so right now it's just save this drawing.svg that's what we want the svg you leave that and delete that what we're going to do we're going to do tech cyber blog and i can put logo um, just to make sure uh, we can do this label it a little bit better and then I'm gonna zoom out for you guys because I know where the save is already kind of. And so we go down, we press save, check that, you see that. And now it's saved as an SVG file. And so let's check this real quick. We're gonna click out. And you know, once again, I probably shouldn't have clicked it out before I knew that it was saved, but I've been doing this for a while. So I know that it's saved. We're gonna zoom in. As you guys see, it is saved. It should be saved. Let's see. What we can do is go to SVG, that we now we can search for it, I guess. Honestly, it probably would be in documents. Let's see. Okay. 
All right, you guys, so we checked to see if it was saved. I just went over here into the search box to look for Tech Cyber, Tech Cyber blog for the most part. And as you see right here, it says Tech Cyber blog underscore logo. Once again, I'm zooming in. I'm visually impaired. This is for all my visually impaired individuals. As you guys can take a look to see how we navigate technology as well. And with you guys, I hope that you were able to learn from this experience and how you make an SVG file so that you can make your photos into a 3D format on Blender. So the next video will be about how to actually create that uh, 3D format, how I create my 3D formats within 3D Blender, which is over here. So you guys, another move, Progress Productions. As you guys know, this is your guy, Marquis Price. Hope you guys stay well. Um, also, make sure you go and check the, the links in the description below. I have some swag for you guys. It's on Zazzle. Um, some good, nice apparel for you guys. Go check out and support. There will be a blog coming soon. Tech Cyber Blog. That's the whole point of me creating Tech Cyber Blog on the website. Um, just giving information on technology, on technology and cybersecurity. Technology, how we navigate cybersecurity, different, a whole lot of different topics, a whole lot of different articles I will be working on to post. You guys go and check that out. Um, coming soon to you very soon. And if you're watching this later on, it probably is already up. So make sure you go and check out the website. And also, one more thing, you guys, as I am creating Move Progress Productions as the umbrella, the tech cyber blog, make sure you go check out ICU Foundation for the reason why I'm starting my business is to give back to the ICU Foundation, which we give support to visually impaired and blind uh People, I should say, we give support to the visually impaired and blind community. So you guys go and check ICU Foundation out on the website. Tech Cyberblog, go check that out. Make sure you subscribe. Um, make sure you subscribe, like, share. All right, you guys, next time.